Hello, hello. I'm just going to wait for a couple more people to show up and we'll get started. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. We're going to be starting in just a couple minutes. Hi there. Good to see you. Hope you're doing all right. Yay. Thank you for the hearts. <laughs> Well, I'm coming to you live again from the car. I, my son has had Bible camp all week this week. Um, so I've been waiting for him and he happens to have to be picked up at noon. So I go right from this to that. So I'm showing my business card here to help because we're going to turn around. We're going to talk about 10 tips to help you slow down. This is part three. Okay. A little bit more casual today. I had a late workout and I'm going to be going to the pool with the kids uh, sometime later today. Uh, actually, af after I pick up my son. So it's good to see you. I'm going to wait uh, just one more minute. I'm a little early to see if anyone else will join us. Where's everybody from? I'd love to see. I know we have a few people on the line. Can you tell me where you're from? Okay, everybody shy. You can make comments if you, I don't know if you might be new to this, so you can go ahead and just write on there. You know, hi Leah. <laughs> you can write on there where you're from. That would be great. High Point, yes. High Point, North Carolina. I'm in Lynchburg, everybody. Lynchburg, Virginia. Where's everybody else from? You can type in the comments. I think there's enough on there. You can, I don't know, a lot of people are new to Periscope. Hey, Austin, yay. <laughs> Austin, Texas. Awesome. Nice to have you join us. I know it's still in the morning there. It's just noon here in Virginia. Okay, well, I'm just going to take a couple minutes of your time. This is part three of my top 10 tips to slow down. I covered the first two on Monday and the second two on Tuesday. I will introduce myself again. I'm Michelle Breeding. I am a board certified holistic health coach. I'm also an IFA sports nutritionist and a Team Beach Body coach. So I love health and wellness, fitness. It's my passion. I love to help other people to see them better themselves and to become getting the health that they know that they can get into. They just don't know it yet. Sometimes they need a little nudge and that's my job is to give a little nudge for getting people in the right state of mind to realize that they are just fully empowered and have all the tools right there with Right, them, right there inside of them that they can help themselves if we just give a little nudge and be right there with them. And that's what us coaches do. We get right beside people to help them better themselves and to get in the health that they would like to be. So anyway, um, we're going to cover uh, tips five and six today. And I will review a little bit on one and two and three and four. Uh, and I hope you're following me through this. And I really appreciate you all being here with me. And um, the we're going to go to the top or the fifth tip, which is to take time with your family and friends. So I'm talking, since I'm a holistic health coach, I talk more about the general overall being of yourself. So it's not just about, you know, what you're eating. It's about everything. It's about your job. It's about your fitness. It's about, you know, your family relationships. It's about your relationships with your kids, with your spouse, with your boyfriends and girlfriends, however that works with you. So what I want to cover is to make sure that for general overall well-being, you need to make sure that you take time to connect with people. Take time to slow down. And that kind of goes along with all my other tips that I've given this week. But you need to take time because we're losing time with each other. Everybody spends so much time on the phone and everyone spends so much time, uh, you know, just doing things like sitting in front of the TV together. And it's not necessarily quality time with them. So you really want to connect, whether it's playing a game, taking a walk with each other, going for a bike ride, to sit, to go to dinner, but, but you're actually talking to each other. So make sure you know some of those family members that you haven't talked to in a long time, or maybe even the friends that you haven't. You know, building a friendship really goes both ways. So I talk to my teenage daughter about this a lot. You know, 
now everything's within texting back and forth. But I said, you know what? You really have to talk to those people. You have to talk back and forth in order to build friendships. So it's not about them talking to you. You need to talk to them. And how about those people that you know that are right here in front of you that God's presented in your life that you can talk to? So I encourage you to just reconnect with someone today or even tomorrow, sometime this week. Reconnect with someone and talk to them or just the people that you know now. Build a closer relationship with them. So that's the number five tip. Number six is kind of the opposite of this, but also take time for yourself because we don't tend to do that. We don't do that enough where we take time to really unwind, get off the phones, get off the computer, quit stressing because the more that we do that, it's it just makes us not feel as good if we are totally going, 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 going all the time. Self-care is huge with a lot of the things that I see with my clients um, with health coaching. They really need to spend more time going out for a walk, spending time in the word, taking time for themselves, doing something meditative like yoga or Pilates, something calming, doing even dry brushing, which is something that I can teach with uh, health coaching. If you're interested in that, you know, you can always message me at healthcoachmichelleb at gmail.com. Um, but you can, dry brushing is something that invigorates your skin and it exfoliates your skin, but it also makes you feel alive and invigorated and cleansing of the toxins that you have built up in your body but you can do that dry brushing as well as a hot towel scrub which also helps you to um you take a hot washcloth and you just wipe it down all your body and just keep keep keeping as hot as you can and you will be amazed how energized you feel but also relaxed and soothed for bed if you do it right before bed so taking time for yourself is really really a good stress reliever but also something you need to do just whether it's reading take some time right now so I encourage you today to take time to spend with building a relationship and also taking time to be spending with yourself and I see that I'm sweating here and I apologize <laughs> it's about 90 degrees in the car and I turned it off so you all could hear me so anyway um but that's what you do when you're when you're running around, you know, you do have a busy life. We do have a busy life. So we have to take time for others and take time for ourselves. Recap. Okay, so number one tip was to take time to prioritize your, your day. So do the most important things first. And tip two was to cut your personal internet in half. That goes along with taking time for yourself and taking time for others. Cut your time in half so you're not spending so much time on social media and all those just internet surfing, doing all those things. Spend time in nature. That is number three tip. And number four is to try to eat slower and enjoy the food that you just took all that time to prepare for. So I just wanted to recap those tips. And if you want to follow those again, I do have a YouTube channel. Um, I also have uh, my website is michellebreeding.com. Again, you can reach me at healthcoachmichelleb at gmail.com. And you can touch base with me about where my where my other videos are. Uh, I don't think you can see them now because on Periscope, the only thing is they're live, but they only save for 24 hours. So if this was somewhat helpful for you, I would appreciate some just hearts, seven tips. I'm glad that you were here and thank you for those who are joining me. And um, if you're watching with the replay, hi to you. I hope we'll connect in some way, sometime. And um, anyway, thank you for joining me and Stay tuned for tomorrow at noon, Eastern Standard Time, and you can get the next tips in the 10 tips to slow down. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a blessed day.